Chema, it's me Piotr, welcome in the new video. <laughs> uh, today I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, of a Polish cuisine uh, since uh, we bought some ingredients and I can cook something that we normally eat um, in a Poland. So we, we're gonna go to the kitchen soon but first of all thank you so much for uh, last uh, birthday wishes. Uh, it was nice to see so many of you po uh, did a comment under the video. Thank you for likes, for supporting and things like this. Uh, so the dish today uh, that we, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to prepare. It's called wazanki. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put somewhere here the, 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 how, how we call it. It's very easy to do. You all can try to do. Uh, just, just want to tell you now on the beginning of the video that uh, uh, I don't have professional light so <laughs> in my kitchen and things like this. So if it's going to be a little bit dark or uh, it's gonna be like a shadow on my face then sorry for that but uh, I just can't really do I just can't do nothing with it this is just how it is so uh, maybe in the future <laughs> when I will earn some money from the YouTube maybe I will uh, uh, buy some equipment to, to, to make it better but anyway let's go to the kitchen and let's cook uh, this dish okay so here we are in my beautiful kitchen new cooking show new kind of stuff on the why are you laughing at me already? <laughs> no, I try to be quiet. Oh, yeah, but I see you smiling over there. Yeah. Smiling yeah, he's smiling. He look at me because he see the GoPro and, and everything. And I have to look at him because he tried to pull all the cables. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you what we need uh, to cook those dishes. And I'm going to explain you how it looks like and what we have to do. Okay, so what we will need is, uh, is a sour cabbage. Uh, you can buy this sour cabbage in uh, Jaya Grocery or any other shop like Village Grocer or Benz. Yes? I think Jaya is safer. Yeah, Jaya is safer. The problem is now this sour cabbage get quite expensive. This jar is nearly 17 ringgit. So it's quite expensive, but if you do want to do it fast, uh, just the easiest way is just to buy the, is just to buy the sour cabbage in the jar. One of the first videos that I put on the on the YouTube channel, that is, I, I, I literally show you how you can make you by yourself, and it's much much cheaper. Just you need to do some work to to <laughs> to just make the sour cabbage, but it's quite easy. If you want to see, just go on the first videos that I create on the on the YouTube. Then we will need the uh, mushrooms. Could be this one, the white one, mushrooms, uh, and last one thing that you can add is a sausage you can buy any sausage that you want you know if you if you if you can eat then use the pork one if you cannot eat the pork you can eat, eat the beef chicken whatsoever is up to you uh, but it doesn't matter actually from where it comes from the uh, the the the, uh, the sausages yeah so any kind of it could be like i said chicken beef pork whatever you can eat just use what you want and what, what, what normally we use in is a pasta and the best pasta basically is this one I call it in the Polish świderki why because it's like a spiral yeah like a spiral so we call it świderki I'm gonna put somewhere here so basically it's very easy to do this this dish boil the pasta which I'm gonna do soon uh, chop the chop the sausages, chop the uh, chop the mushrooms, uh, start to fry everything. Anyway, I'm gonna show you in a, in a second how is it, what we have to do with it. You will need basically like a two pots, uh, one very big one because uh, the pasta which is gonna be boiling this one, uh, we're just gonna put everything in the in the in a big one. Then you mix everything, so you just need like a two pots, and so it's quite easy dish. Uh, in terms of a uh, sausage, how you want to cut it or the mushrooms, it's up to you. I'm doing like this, in, oh sorry for a shadow, uh, in the pieces like this, quite big as you can see, because the problem is, if I'm gonna start to fry the uh, the sausages, they're gonna, of course they're gonna change the shape, they're gonna shrink a little bit, so anyway, the way how you want to cut it, it's up to you. It actually doesn't matter, do, do, however you want, you can put the square, circles, the round ones however you want just cut it and then just uh, fry anyway i'm gonna show you step by step seasoning it, it's very simple you can use the uh, black pepper maybe some salt but remember that if you're gonna buy the sour cabbage from this shop 
that I just mentioned on the beginning. Uh, it's already quite salty. And the same if you're gonna use any kind of a sausage, uh, just before you will uh, season your dish, season your wasanki, then then taste it because some of the, like I'll say, sausages and the sour cabbage is quite salty. So maybe you should add just maybe pepper and, and then see how it's gonna be. Okay guys, I'm gonna, yeah, the water start gonna be boiled soon. Uh, for the pasta, I'm gonna just chop now the, the mushrooms and we're gonna be, start to do the, uh, basically frying the sausages and, and, the, and the mushrooms. If you wanna make it a little bit as, like Malaysian style, you can add some chili flakes, but I don't do it because it's like a Polish dish, so uh, yeah. So if you wanna add chili, then you can add, but don't put a lot because I think it's gonna be a little bit weird if you're gonna eat with a sour cabbage, so. Yeah, you can use a little bit spicy, spices like like chili flakes, things like this. So it's up to you. But uh, if I can, I suggest you to do it originally without the spiciness. I mean, without the, any kind of a chili. Mushrooms already done. Cut it as you can see. So you see, I'm not very particular with the shape and everything. So just do however you want. So this is the two actually three ingredients that we need plus of course pasta. I'm still waiting for uh, water to be uh, to start to boil. And then if you're gonna fry the stuff, like the sausage that you will have, it's up to you. I don't use really a lot of uh, oil or something because the sausage is already quite fat. So I'm gonna use that thing and yeah, let's wait a little bit for a uh, water. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fry the uh, yeah, chicken. Huh. Fry the sausages, uh, not very long time, just make it a little bit like a crispy. Uh, then we're gonna add some uh, mushrooms. Uh, and then I'm gonna wait for a, uh, is it burning okay uh, not burning but uh, uh, and then i'm gonna add the pasta and at the end i'm gonna uh, put whole of the, the sour cabbage on the top and i'm gonna mix everything and basically that's whole of uh, uh things that you have to do to make this dish so it's quite easy maybe 20 minutes half hour of doing everything so you all can do it and let me know in the comments did you try how was it did you like it or not then i will know what's your opinion about this oh, my dish. pasta is done uh, it's already uh, boiled perfectly, <laughs> let's say perfectly. This one needs to fry a little bit more soon. I'm gonna add this uh, mushrooms that I showed you before. Uh, but uh, first what I have to do, I need to get rid of the water from the pasta. So yeah, don't put the, uh, just put the pasta, just drain the water uh, and yeah. Yes, my wife, yeah, your dinner is gonna be ready soon. Our dinner. Okay, so basically everything is prepared. I'm gonna put the pasta now. I need to mix it all together and then on the top of that I'm gonna add the uh, sour cabbage. When you're gonna put your pasta, just put it on the lower fire and let it like a little bit like uh, cook all together, mix it all the time, that all the flavor will go through the, to the pasta. Okay guys, as you can see, sour cabbage in. Now I need to focus and mix everything correctly and leave it maybe for 5-10 minutes uh, till the sour cabbage will get uh, warm everything will go through the same with a flavoring uh, try it and like i said if you want to add it uh, then add the salt maybe black pepper uh, so it's up to you okay guys i'm gonna carry on with already it. finished cooking so this is how it looks like wasanki so this is already done we can enjoy our dinner as you can see it's very easy to do it needs only three ingredients a maximum half hour uh, if you ask me for this portion that I prepare, it's like a portion for me, my wife and for our tomorrow lunch. So it's quite a lot. Uh, so if you want to try uh, to cook it, just, just try and let me know how it goes. How do you like it? Because I know that some of you maybe will like the sour cabbage. Uh, maybe some of you will don't like, but the, the, the easiest explanation how the taste sour cabbage is like a kimchi without the without the chili and maybe maybe our sour cabbage like le let's say like a polish style sour cabbage it's gonna be more uh more sour than than the kimchi is so that's it that will be that's it in this video if you like this video let me know in the comment and then i will try to make more videos like this to show you what you can cook in malaysia from the polish dishes that uh, that you can just easily do it at home 
uh, without like uh, spending a lot of money for the ingredients. Like I said, just only one thing that was very expensive was those was those uh, was this uh, sour cabbage that we bought. But uh, let's say I was a little bit lazy to prepare my own sour cabbage because it's taking the time and, and the work. But anyway, uh, just tell me what do you think about the videos like this on my channel from time to time doing something different than vlogs. Uh, so yeah, maybe uh, that would be something new on the channel, like cooking with a pizza, the new episode. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.